Hi, it's Jess with Jess Makes Sense, and today I am back with my FabFitFun unboxing. Ooh, I probably should make it right side up. FabFitFun and a Sephora haul. I will start with Sephora first. Um, the first thing I get, and I know everybody thinks that this is expensive, and it is expensive. I'm not going to lie to you guys and say it's not expensive. It's like $58, $60. It is the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Oil, Body Oil. It comes in this box. I kept the box just so you guys could see what it comes in. It is 3.4 fluid ounces. Don't yell at me that this is $58. But I will tell you the reason why I got it. The packaging is very nice. Like this is like rubbery. It's very luxe. It looks very good on the counter. Um, I don't use this all over my body. I actually am not a huge fan of oil all over my body because I live in Florida and it literally just melts off of you. Like it's sweat, it's disgusting. But um, I use this with the spray and with the lotion. So I put on this like on my arm over here, then I put the spray on and I use the lotion. And those three combine, those three combined last forever. So instead of buying the perfume, which even though they increase the intensity, I still don't find it as strong as all of these put together. Even these together will last me all day. Like I could work a 12 hour shift and at the end of my shift, a customer's like, what are you wearing? And I don't even think they're talking to me because I've been at work since eight and it's like nine o'clock. Like we're closing down the store and people are asking. And I'm like, what do you mean? Who? What are you talking about me? And then I smell myself. I put it on this morning and it still smells. So if you guys love this as much as I do, even though this seems expensive, these two together are like the same price as the perfume and it works better. So get these together. The longevity is longer than the perfume. So I did get a little bottle of the perfume and it really like, I feel like didn't even last as long as this. So this together winning combo. So you don't have to put this all over your body. You could use it like on your arms, on your neck a little bit, like where you put the perfume. That's what I got. That's why I got it. I'm not mad about it. I'm happy with my decision. Um, for my birthday month, uh, happy birthday. That was in January. I got the glow recipe little set. Make sure you sign up for Sephora, like insider it's free. Cause you get some good stuff. So this is the dew drops, the niacinamide dew drops, and this is the watermelon glow PHA and BHA pore tight toner. They're pretty good sample kind of sizes too. Um, and with that, I think what I got when I got this was this perfume sampler, which these perfume samplers, a lot of people get these and they say in the reviews, cause these don't have great reviews, these sampler sets. A lot of people are like, I can't believe that was $28 for that. That's ridiculous. They're just samples. A lot of people aren't reading it. You get a tra travel size at no cost. So they give you a bunch of the perfumes to try. Everything that's listed on the front. <clears throat> they give you a card with a barcode on it. And you go inside of the Sephora store and you pick. So I can pick. The, I don't know if it's all of them, Clean Reserve, Commodity, Floral Street, Juliet Has a Gun, Nest, New York, Madagascar Vanilla, which is probably the one I'll do, but it's a rollerball. I hate rollerballs. And the Fleur Missing Person Travel Spray. So you pick out one, you hand them the card, and even if it's more than $28, you get that for free. So basically, if you want one that's like $35 and it's one of these, buy this, you get all those samples and then you get a discount on the actual travel spray because you get it for free and this is $28. I do this every time. I love sample travel size, not sample, but the travel size sprays, sometimes more than a full bottle because I just think like you get more, like you get different stuff and that's cool. Like you don't have to always smell the same, even though I mostly always smell like Sol de Janeiro, I get to try something different. So I do that a lot of times. I just got the Valentino Donna travel spray and I love that one too. So get that. There's only a couple perfumes like uh, the Idole Lancome Idole. I don't know how to say that. That I get full size. There's only a couple perfumes that I love enough to always get full size. Um, YSL Black Opium. There's a few. Um, next is this. I just got this in the mail yesterday. I did try it today and 
it's a buildable, it's not as, um, I want to say like thick and covering as the, what do I use? Tarte Seabreeze Creamy Bronzer. This is called the Sculptino Soft Contour Cream and I got it in Getty and it is a soft contour. I do love that it gives you kind of a sun-kissed glow and I highly, highly recommend this for the summertime because you're not going to want to look like that cakey contour because you're probably already going to have like a base tan. So I really think if you're going to have a base tan, make sure you get a darker shade. But I probably won't have a base tan on my face because let's be honest, I wear a lot of sunblock. But I used it today. It's super creamy, super easy to work with. It's buildable and I highly recommend this. This is $20 comes in this clear container, which I think is really cute. Very small and compact and lightweight. So if you're traveling with this, I highly recommend it. And it just gave me like this, the the like softest, like, like the sun just kissed me. That's what it looks like. So I recommend this. And I don't recommend things easily. But if you want my like honest opinion, ask me later, because I've only used this once. Not honest, but like, you know, the longer I use, the more I'll know. This is what I have on my eyes today. This is the Dominique Essential Palette. I saw this on Instagram, I think on Trend Mood, and I instantly saw that it was on Sephora and instantly bought it. I had a gift card. I probably should have thought further into it because, well, I'll, t I'll show you. The palette is, like, the, the packaging, the actual palette is heavy duty and gorgeous. It's huge, as you can see. Like, this is my whole hand. It takes up and then it has a mirror. I haven't taken it off yet. And these are the colors. And I just thought this was literally the perfect neutral palette. Like take this on vacation, take this wherever you go. If you're sleeping over somebody's house, I'm all about like taking one big thing of makeup instead of like a bunch of palettes. Um, the neutral, the matte shades I loved, I thought were great. The shimmers I actually did like, but there's, this the bh cosmetics hanging in hawaii shimmer is still better i don't know what it is it's still better so this is what's on my eyes right now it is gorgeous look at that like it is gorgeous and that is the um most of what's on my eyelid is the grateful and then i use this as my base this kind of all over the lid and then i went in with a little bit of this this in my inner corners and then grateful kind of like right here on my eye. And it is gorgeous. I'm not gonna say I don't recommend this. Not at all, I actually do recommend this. But if you're on a budget, I recommend like the Wet n Wild Always Naked palette. Um, and I recommend if you're just looking for like really, really great shimmers and you don't wanna spend money on these new Charlotte Tilbury ones or the Urban Decay Moonshine one, was it Moonshine one that I got duped into? then skip this but it is beautiful it's $49 so it's on the lower price because Patrick Ta's like 70 and so I do recommend this but I'm saying if you're on a budget you could easily skip this and get the same look or close to the same look with just an everyday CVS Amazon palette this is my well-loved Hanging in Hawaii BH. I haven't seen this on Ulta. I haven't seen it in stores. I think they got like rid of BH Cosmetics. Correct me if I'm wrong because I haven't seen it. But I did go to the website and it's still available. This one, Pineapple, <clears throat> is the best shimmer in the entire world. I have tried everything. Expensive, cheap. I've tried everything. I'm telling you guys, don't get, don't fall for what everybody's doing. Don't fall for the Urban Decay. And I'll do, I should do a side-by-side -side on my Instagram to show you how much better this is than everything else. Look at that. Come on. Why do I always do it on the wrong side? How are you guys going to see that? Okay. Pineapple. It's creamy, it's melty, it stays put all day. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, this would, to me, be the absolute perfect palette if it had a uh, like a light neutral base shade, but it does not. That is the only negative about this palette, but honest to goodness, I have two backups and it's like $20 and this alone is worth it. But they also have Hoola, which is just as creamy. 
it's a little bit more gold. The pineapple's a little bit more champagne-y. And then they have Sandy, which has a lot more gold in it. But look at that. That's one swipe, you guys. It's unbelievable. And then Waikiki's like deep, like a deep copper bronze. I barely press down. I'm telling you guys. As much as I love palettes, and you guys know I buy palettes all the time, you guys have to get this. Even if you only do makeup once in a while. And that is the Luau. That's like a reddish color. Look at that. One little tiny swipe. Highly recommend. Okay, can I get this off? I better go take this off. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And this Sephora uh, Fat Fit Fun Haul turned into me talking about BH Cosmetics. So I will shut up about it now. Okay, the next thing I got, I've been using this for like two months now. I did keep the packaging so I could show you guys, but it is kind of rough around the edges. I fell in love with this foundation. So I was going back and forth between the Makeup by Mario and the Hourglass everybody kept talking about. Um, I did do a shade match at Sephora. Like they put the, the phone on your skin and they do a shade match, but it wasn't the correct match. So the one that I thought this one, the five was the right one. I don't know what it does, but it does really give you that soft airbrush like glow. Do I think that it's um, that you it's better than a lot of the drugstore ones? Yeah. I mean, a lot of blush, a lot of lipstick, a lot of eyeshadow. I choose drugstore over foundation or over the the fancy brands. But for this one, I highly recommend this. Will it work for everybody? No. So do a lot of research. Like whenever I look up foundations and want to get one, if one... <clears throat> If one is for normal skin, I'm all about it. If one's for oily, for dry, I have like combinations. So I really get in there. But it literally is perfection on my skin. Ooh, look at this. It's literally perfection on my skin. And I've never had one that's fully covered. Any vitiligo I have like around my mouth. And this one, I have white all around my mouth from vitiligo. This one fully covers it. And I wouldn't say it's like a heavy coverage. I feel that I have foundation on, but... I kind of want to feel like I have foundation on, but highly recommend this. Go to Sephora, try it out first. Uh, next, I got if I bought if I spent like six more dollars, I got five hundred extra points, so ten dollars off. So I just got this for ten dollars, and so I'll just get ten dollars back. But this is the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom uh, Moisturizing Shower Cream, and I love this so much. This is like a treat like a treat if I just want something. Uh, if not, I a lot of times will use, hopefully they come back out with it, the Bath & Body Works Coconut Cream Pie. And that gives me the same like feel. Like I do that and then I get out of the shower. Then I use the oil and the lotion and the uh, spray. And then I just feel like great from head to toe. Um, the rest are, are the rest samples? I just got this sample. It came with all of these samples of perfumes literally like 15 of them with any purchase and this uh nars lipstick which is kind of like an orangey shade so i think this would be like a good base and then put something over it i don't know if it'll totally match me but it was free with this with purchase so why not grab it and then i got a bunch of other samples you know they love to give you samples. Okay, Super Goose, Goop Daily Dose Broad Spectrum Sunscreen Fluid B10 Retinol and Mineral SPF. I gotta look that up. And then this Summer Fridays Midnight Ritual Retinol Renewal Serum. A little thing of that. So we will try that. Summer Fridays is my jam and their like lip glossy stuff is the best smelling lip balm, whatever it is I've ever smelt in my entire life. That's it for Sephora. This is probably like two months worth. I try, I'm trying to use more of my makeup. So I'm trying not to go crazy. And a lot of the like TikTok trends, I will like go to the store and I'm like, wait, I did fall for the Urban Decay one, the moonshine, whatever it was. But everything else, I'm like, wait, this is not as good. This is not as great as y'all are making it seem. Um, so FabFitFun. I know the box looks kind of empty, 
I have noticed in my past two boxes that they are giving me, which I prefer, I skew towards skincare and makeup over like the bags or the clothes or the the workout gear I never use or like the kitchen gadgets. So I don't know if they're sending it to me for that or they're just getting better in my opinion, but I am getting amazing stuff. I got Hourglass lipstick last time, um, Elemis, the superfood face wash, which I highly recommend. It smells like a spa, like it's very natural greeny, but if you like, it just feels like you're in a spa. So I recommend getting it. But the first thing that I got is this Dead Sea Water Mineral Shower Gel in Sea Kissed by Ahava. Is that what it is? Ahava? It is sealed, which is super nice because I've had stuff leak from them before. Next is the Kate Spade Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cleanser. And I like to keep a cleanser in my tub, in my shower, and in at my sink. So I have three cleansers going at one time, all the time. Which I know seems odd, but I don't want to have to move my face wash. Thankfully, my skin doesn't really react to much, so I can use pretty much anything. But um, I know it's not that the case for everybody. Uh, next is this. It's funny because I almost got this at um, TJ Maxx. And I skipped it, but the packaging got me. It's the Chorus Pure Greek Olive um, Body Cream in Sea Salt. The packaging got me and I wanted it so bad, but I was like, I can't have a million lotions because I already do from Bath and Body Works. And then it came in my Fat Fun box. It smells very charcoal earthy, but then sea salt. Ooh, yeah, gross. It smells like very bougie spa-like, and I really like it. Glad I get that. Next is this NCLA Beauty, never heard of it, Beauty Sleep Birthday Cake Overnight Lip Mask. Very, very, very similar packaging to the Laneige. Oh, the last time I got the Laneige Overnight like Sleep Mask with like the applicator, not the standard one that I don't really like. And so far I'm liking it, but I'll give you an update later. Still nothing's better than CeraVe. This one's kind of like hard, kind of just like the standard Laneige one. It has like a bakery note to it. It does have that birthday cake note, but almost not as not sweet. Almost just kind of is like a semi-sweet bread. Okay, that's nice. But see, I like these boxes that have all this stuff. Tula Skincare. So poreless, deep exfoliating blackhead scrub. I like some Tula products, some are overrated. And I think that <clears throat> the influencer world, like they stopped doing so many influencer, like they stopped paying influencers to promote their brand. And I think that's making an impact. I will say that I feel like influencers recently, like I'm not paying attention to any of them. And I know that I should, but like, they're promoting Billy, then next week, Athena, then next week, Harry's, then they're they're promoting um, Tula, then now they're promoting Dime Beauty. And it's like, what, do you stand by anything? Like, do you, is there one product that you actually like that you'll say no to the other people because you like that? Or are you just grasping to grab money? Which I'm not hating. I don't blame them. They're making a ton of money and I'm happy for them. But like, I want you to stick to one thing. Like, say you like Athena, and keep Athena, even if they don't give you money. Don't move on to Billy or don't, you know what I mean? That's just my opinion. It's just my opinion. Don't get mad. I'm just saying. But in all that being said, uh, this hasn't been as popular. Like I don't see Tula everywhere like I used to. But this is really good. This is a blackhead deep exfoliating scrub. So I have used this before and I will use it again. I wouldn't necessarily go out and buy it, but I'm happy to have it with my FabFitFun box. Um, next, I think I got two of the same thing. They just threw two in my box. Yeah. On the side, it says, why Jess loves this? And I'm like, I don't even know anything about Honest Beauty. And then I realized Honest Beauty is Jessica Alba's brand. I thought they like made it for me. Like it was personalized. <laughs> oh gosh, Jessica. Okay, so this is extreme length mascara and lash primer both in black i'm assuming i was supposed to get one of these two were thrown in the box i will try it the best thing to do with mascara is to double it up 
Like if you're gonna use one that's like a full effect, then use a lengthening one. And <clears throat> my sister complimented my eyelashes a few weeks ago. And that's what I did. Like I just used two mascaras, but they both do two different things. And I feel like it works to give you that lift. So these two, I'll give one to my sister. And then last but not least, Summer Fridays. I'd love anything Summer Fridays. This is the Cloud Dew Gel Cream Moisturizer. And if I like this, I will repurchase. There's something about Summer Fridays that like, it works. Like it makes my skin soft. It makes my lips soft. Let's see if it smells. This is all I care about if something smells. Okay, I'm kind of glad it has no scent, but it's like a jelly formula. And um, it reminds me of something. What else has the jelly formula? I don't remember, but that's it. That is my full FabFitFun box. I recommend it. I know that it went up in price, but I think it's a little bit cheaper if you get it all year round and you get the selections first dibs. I, it, it's, you're spending less on the box than you would on all of these items. If it is in your budget, I like getting that surprise four times a year. And I'd rather get that surprise four times a year than like get some shirts. So that's just what I recommend. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. One more thing I forgot. I got this at Sephora, this Give Beauty by Gwen Stefani Bubble Pop Electric High Performance Lip Gloss in Electric Pansy. I saw this color when I passed by and I'm like, ooh, I really, really like that color. Uh, I have on the Maybelline right now, the Super Stay Ink. It's probably a very similar color to this, honestly. But it was just this bright, pinky, perfect summer shade. Check it out when you go to Sephora. That's why sometimes Sephora is great because you get to like browse and I love the browse. But thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.